Hello and welcome back to Forts, and today we're going to be playing around with another commander-specific weapon, but this time, the weapon we'll be playing with is for the Overdrive Commander, one of the more popular commanders here in the Forts community, and this one's, well, this one's a combo weapon. It's called the Gemini Laser. Uh, basically, it duplicates any weapon or any other projectile that flies through it. So if we were to say, shoot one cannon through the Gemini laser beam, then instead of, well, interacting with the beam via setting it on fire as most beams would do, this one copies it and will create a second cannon. And so that makes it, uh, makes it have quite a lot of combo potential, and we're going to be playing around with that a lot. And I think you guys are going to like that. You guys always love the, uh, all the combo weapons and other similar shenanigans we do around here. So we're going to be, we're going to be doing some more of those. So let's see. Here we just have some balls to V2. Just some randoms from the community. And let's, let's get this party started. So what my plan here is to just make one nuclear missile and have it fly toward the enemies and Gemini laser it at least once. Uh, we can we have a pop cap of two of these, so we can only have two of these guys out. So we'll see if I can get both of them out before the game ends. But right now, uh, what does this require? It requires an upgrade center and oh, I don't even have to get any kind of special technology for it. So let me just go ahead and actually sell that guy off. I know I just built him, but I'm not going to need that much metal. I just need a nuclear warhead, or one nuclear warhead, and then to start producing all the things in the world. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, generally, we'd want to go with swarm missiles to cover for the nukes. But, considering that the, uh, well, the Gemini laser makes multiple nukes, we should be able to have a bit more leeway in the amount of, of uh, well, risk involved in trying to send a nuke across the field. And we'll see if we can actually pull this one off. I'm kind of concerned, not gonna lie. It's going for, just going for nukes is kind of, kind of risky. They're very, shall we say, RNG-based weapons. I'll cover him up real quick, just so that if they're not looking at me, they won't actually know. I can see that this player has built a lot of wood around here and then connected all up here. And each one of these foundation races costs of a non-insignificant amount of funds in order to uh, to create, so I don't have to worry about him fielding anything hostile against us for the moment. Uh, wow, that laser is kind of expensive. So this laser costs 1,000 metal and 8,000 energy just to build. And how much does it cost to fire? Does it cost nothing to fire? Oh, it doesn't cost anything to fire, which I suppose is probably for the best because it's a uh, well, it doesn't do anything if it doesn't if it doesn't actually hit a friendly projectile. It's a very strictly a combo weapon. Like I can't use it to do things like target the enemies. We'll not be trying to target the enemies with it. We'll be targeting our own nukes. We'll split them and give them a you know I guess I guess they're kind of like a nuclear fission effect. Fission in the uh, in the uh, well idea that it splits rather than rather than a uh, combine, so to speak. But let's get one of these guys going. It's gonna cost a lot of metal, so I need one more storage. There we go. And then let me just upgrade these guys, because this game is gonna go for a little while. Uh, if only because, well, um, we, we are gonna need to put down all of these weapons. And it's gonna cost us a bit to do that, uh, a bit of time. So I'm gonna defend myself, and maybe we can get the double-double right off the beginning split our one nuke into two and then our well two nukes into four because we can get a maximum of two of these gemini lasers and it's gonna be gonna be kind of expensive to, to do that uh let's see i don't want to nope tab away from you thank you hotkey you and then hotkey you uh, nope 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 i want you on one tap to you put you on two is fine okay so i'm just gonna just gonna be waiting waiting while we uh Get an opportunity to put down our Gemini lasers. Uh, let me build a place for them real quick. Here. There we go. You guys can hide in there. One goes right here. Like so, and the other one eventually right there. I'm not going to keep him covered right now. Let's uh, see, a see what we can snipe here. Just a turbine, perhaps? 
That'll be a metal production facility of some kind. Uh, and by that I mean a mine. But we're gonna be we're gonna be quite alright here. I just gotta put down another one of these, although I probably shouldn't have because right now I need metal more than anything else. Uh, I could expand down to the bottom, but I'm not sure that's gonna be worth it. Let's see, if I upgrade these guys because your ton is mod enabled, then it will give me some additional well, additional metal income, just like the mines do. But right now, I just want to put down my second Gemini laser. There we go. Much better. So let me cover these guys up real quick. Let me actually give them a proper sandbag defense. Like so. There we go. That way they can be protected by something as cheap as sandbags and not cost metal to repair that defense. Although sooner than later, we are going to want to get the, uh, well an energy shield on it. Speaking of which, it is far, far beyond time to do that, so might as well, might as well get on that, as we could be getting hit by heavy weapons and or nukes. Well, oh look, it's a laser. Thankfully, we have an energy shield, or, well, a sandbag there to stop, stop the laser hit. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to, um, gonna invest in some additional metal here, because I don't want to lose my Gemini lasers to, uh, well, random Random hits, let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. Upgrade this guy as well. Go and increase my uh, defenses significantly. So we might take a few hits here before we can get this combo set up. It's a, I imagine, extremely powerful combo, but it's gonna take some time. Time to really get it going. Yes, sandbags, extremely powerful versus the fire beam. Nope, I am prepared. Aha, that is your own Taste the pain of your own laser. Now I gotta rebuild this because it's all it's all lopsided. Look what you make me do. These things take so long to so very long to uh, sell off. That's gonna increase my selling time or repair time significantly. Uh, you know what? Let me just that's also lopsided or deforming downwards. Let me just go ahead and do this. Put this back real quick. Good. Go ahead, laser beam it. Get that combo in there. That's what you're looking for. There you go. You did it. Weakened do my base with the fire beam, and then you hit me with the plasma laser to burn through. Good work. I approve. Let's put this guy here. Where's... Why do I only have 5,000... Or er, 5,000... Oh. Oh my. These things cost me 4,000 metal storage just to exist, so we're going to have to go ahead. I didn't realize that. That's going to throw a very big wrench into my plans. Um, a spanner and a half. We're going to have to invest in a lot of batteries here, guys. Uh, which is kind of a problem, considering I'm being lazy. What? All right, all right. Uh, there goes Snipey. You will be missed. Uh, you're kind of necessary, but also also not, uh, not of critical value right now. I'm making zero metal per second because I'm repairing my repairing my uh, research station or it's upgrade center. There we go. That's, that's what we're looking for. All right. Come on. We're going to need a lot more energy all of a sudden. All right then. Uh, I, in order to fire this guy, I need to have one more battery completed. Let's go ahead and upgrade this battery. Uh oh. Oh, that's my teammate doing things. Okay. For a second, I was about to start panicking. Let's get a sniper right down here. There we go. Better do this. Let's put these guys back. Now, these guys don't cost, sandbags don't cost any metal to repair, so we don't have to worry about that. And I think with commander ability active, we should be able to get a decent amount of income. And now, suddenly, we can actually fire our weapons. All right, let's get this first combo going. One shot here. And then three and four. Duplicate! Oh, I'd only duplicated one of them. Oh, but still, double nukes. That's that's kind of a lot. Two nukes straight to his front. All right, so I need to do this slightly differently. That way it duplicates, well, multiple times. Because can you guys imagine getting that many nukes right off of just one? And it costs so little income. It's so effective. All right, let me upgrade you real quick, just to get a little bit more power out of you. And then we'll fire this guy once more. 
I know the Gemini lasers aren't quite ready yet. We'll have to come back to that one. Let's, uh, let's get some, some of these going. You are not in the correct location. One. All the way across. There we go. Through the fire and the flames or the machine gunners. All the way through. Let's do this, and then this, and then this. Just to have some anti air of my own. And also to help suppress the opponents here. I still have an energy shield there, but at least that's uh, less machine gunners he has because he just lasered his own machine gunners. Alright, nuclear missile is ready to go again once more. Let us duplicate. Fission! Go! Oh, no! I missed the second laser. It's fine. But now we have a swarm of nukes and boom! Direct hit. Very nice. That's what I want to see. Let's go ahead and get additional storages going, because we really very much so need more energy out here, guys. It's looking real rough. Did, did I, am I getting shot again? I feel like I'm getting shot again. I am getting shot again. Why are you like this? I just built those guys. They were so happy with their lives. Okay, let's go ahead and put these guys here. We're just making a giant battery array. And once upgraded, these batteries produce power, so I'm not too... Not too, uh worried about not having enough batteries just the more batteries the merrier there we go they still produce they when upgraded remember that they don't produce as much or they don't provide as much storage but yeah, i mean with an additional almost turbines worth of power it's it's really not that big of a concern let me go ahead and start nuking this guy down here and fire you fire you oh no i guess they really cannot be split twice well science has been done Done with that. We still have our anti-air, so they're not getting any missiles across, even if they desire to. So what else can we do here? If we can't Gemini split them that many times, we can just invest in additional launchers. Which I think is is an appropriate solution. Yeah. Let me just build right up over here real quick. Go and all the way across. There it is. Give you a little bit of armor to work with, just to keep you nice and safe. And where are my missile launchers? Right here and right there. Uh, can I get a little bit more metal generation out of this? I think I can. Uh, let me put this guy right here. There we go. It's one more metal generator. Back. Fire you again. And then this guy. Let's go. Double the nukes! Aha! He actually has a lot of spaced armor there. Uh, by that I mean it's the armor is very, well, wide. That's an atom cannon. Oh dear guys, we let him produce an atom cannon. That's not good at all. We're going to have to, we're going to have to return some serious fire. All right, I see how it is. Well, I, we have our new target. Thankfully, it would appear that they did not, well, they didn't manage to destroy our economy. Why can't you shoot? All right, uh, sniper's not functioning. We're going to rebuild you up here where you have a better chance of functioning. Let's go ahead and build this out again with some metal this time. Nope. Good. All right, nuclear launch time. Come on, sniper, we need you. Q. Move one, move two, and laser it. There goes the double nukes. Will they be able to shoot them both out of the sky? No, and that's a hit. All right. All right, snipey, there's something over there for you to hit. What is it? Did he leave his atom cannon exposed? I'm not sure. No, no, he did not. It's just uh, it's, the nuke is the nuke is uh, got enough AOE in order to, to damage it. All right, so we'll upgrade this guy. Put down another one of these guys. Fire him here, and prepare the Gemini laser beam. Go. That split. All right, that's one nuke down. And there goes all of his remaining anti-air. All right, it is time for us to, uh, time for us to do a little bit more damage to his base. So now we have this second nuke coming online. 
And once that one's done, we'll get a third nuke too. Let's just keep nuking his atom cannon, shall we? Don't believe his anti-air has become available again. I love how it splits the nuke. Oh, that's just awesome. Double nuke! Look at that. That is a laser. That's not a... Uh, that's not a, an atom cannon at all. In that case, we need... Oh, Alright. Uh, that'll... Uh, I, just, I wanted to put an upgraded sniper there, but this will do too. Uh, let's nuke up here then. I'm just at this point searching for... Searching for his atom cannon, because I don't want to be shot by it again. Split him. Let me go ahead and upgrade this guy. Activate commander ability. Boom. There it is. So with the upgraded sniper here, we should be able to start taking out his, his atom cannon through that single layer of metal he has. It's one hit. Now, I know this guy does have a lot of HP, but his options are to repair it and therefore disable it from being able to shoot me. Or B, let me shoot it and it's just going to have a bad time. No, sniper, no. This is fine. We shall rebuild. Stronger than before. Alright, I need a sniper. Let's see, I can upgrade this sniper again to make him a uh, EMP sniper. I don't think it's necessary, nor even that good of an idea. Uh, something just reloaded over there. Probably the atom cannon, because it sounded like a cannon reload process. And across. Looks like he's finally taking care of taking care of those. And Gemini laser. Go. Double nuke all the way across the sky. Ooh, look at that. That is an exposed atom cannon. Let's snipe it a little bit, shall we? How did I miss? No. That's fine. We can we have the AP sniper. And we can keep it suppressed for a while. There we go. Let's just go straight to his core. There we go. Gemini laser that. Boom. Double nuke. And then double more nukes. <laughs> Goodbye. Now his teammate can still... Can still reclaim the atom cannon because the atom cannon is still around uh but i'm gonna keep him distracted by blowing up his his regular cannon here one more shot should do it and boom straight through let's see can i sell off one of these nah i need to i need to do this there we go and then gemini this guy <laughs> So many nukes! And that's the end of this round in particular. And we're off to round two, and last round we did some experiments with the Gemini laser to see just how it worked, and this time I want to see it to its maximum potential. I want to see just how many nukes we can funnel through its systems and send flying at the enemies here, and I think this is going to be a, de a decent map to show off exactly that. So let's start building up toward our nuclear arsenal here. So now we know we're going to need a lot of economy, both in... um in power production and mine, so I'm not going to rush too quickly toward setting up our nukes, but I do need to get them out sooner than later. In fact, I, one of the first things I want to get here is going to be the upgrade center, because the upgrade center will help us actually increase our economy and by upgrading our goods. So I'm going to get down this upgrade center as well as a bunch of turbines, and I think the turbine places, placement I want to go with is going to be, well, right below my core. So when things go wrong, they go horribly wrong. Because that's just the way I like it. So having explosives and power generation next to the core is the... Yeah, I do this every time. And it, it makes horrible explosions and it blows me up every time. But you know what? Those very few times it doesn't, it's worth it. Just because it's easy and I don't have to think about where to put it. Cough, cough. <clears throat> so now I've got going to put this down here. A turbine right here. Things 
good. Things are safe. Now, that's one th thing that I'm really concerned about if we're putting wind turbines here is that turbines don't have a lot of HP. And if, say, this player here would build a laser and fire up at me, they could get underneath and hit the bottom of my core. So, as long as I get rid of him first, then I shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Of course, since we're going such an economy-heavy build, uh, I won't necessarily be able to get rid of him first. As we can tell from the last round, they were able to get out weapons fairly quickly, so that we're not dealing with your your average player that collapses themselves before before doing anything else. Let's go ahead and get down another mine here, and then now I could line all of this with uh, nukes, but then I wouldn't have any means of actually using the Gemini laser because the Gemini laser is kind of locked to firing in an upward position, so I have to line up the nukes across the top, which is fine. That and I don't risk blowing up my teammate, which is going to happen 9 out of the 10 times that I build build nukes facing down toward my teammate, so that's probably for the best anyways. We don't need a stray nuke getting drunk and taking out everything along its path, which we all know happens uh, a, a lot. N never, never, never drink and nuke. It's, that's how bad things happen. Got this all nice and safe. Go ahead and move this down one more, one more slot. We can put some more turbines down there. We need to get some more batteries over here. Because when one of these batteries hits, they are all going to go, and I'm going to make sure of it. Remember that the Gemini laser costs us 4,000 energy storage. So we can't not have batteries. We need a lot of them. And I think we'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and put down this guy. What time is it? 317. It's time to put down some energy shields. And then we'll begin working... No, let's put down our... Uh, Put down our nukes first. There we go. Two across like this. There we go. We'll get our nuclear launchers up. And then worry about our defense. We should be able to fit three of these guys up here. For the low, low cost of 1,500 metal. Thankfully, we have a lot of... We invested into a lot of mines. So we should be... Should be all right here. And then we'll put a Gemini... Uh, yep, yep, this is, uh, this is happening. Time to invest into some ninjas. Ninjas, extremely po when they're not facing the sp yep, up into space, extremely powerful anti-air, or anti-missile defenses. Yep. Come on, one more. There, and now we should, we should be able to defend ourselves and our teammates from the hostilities of missiles. Well, once they're built. There we go. Much better. No more no more bashing on my teammates. You are not allowed. Let's go ahead and defend these guys real quick, or at least cover them up. Let's cover them up nicely so they don't look suspicious. This is, of course, assuming that my opponents haven't already seen them. That sounds like he's sniping my ninjas. He's not sniping my ninjas, but he is sniping at something on my team. Ah, solved that problem. Nice. Ninjas, take care of all those rockets, please. Ooh. Here. Uh, a couple of them made it across. Not ideal. Let's go ahead and cover you up. Nice. Very good. Alright, so now those are going. So next up, we need the location for the Gemini laser to be placed. And technically, we only need one of them. And it appears that my teammate has actually left the game. Oh, dear. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to crank up the firepower here real quick, guys. I need an additional... Additional metal store. Metal store. It is now a 1v2. And I don't know if the opponents have, have recognized this yet. So we're going to be real defensive here. It actually appears that the ninjas aren't doing such a great job versus these missiles. They're missing, despite them supposedly being the more accurate of the options. Let's go ahead and get this guy going, because we're going to need him real quick here. And then start the upgrade process on these guys. Well, they're going to recognize that my teammate's gone pretty quickly, I imagine. Here. There goes access to some of my energy production. Actually, that only helps my energy production for the moment, because remember that the turbines, or the uh, lasers... Yeah, that's not the word. The energy shields. That's the word I'm looking for. Energy shields do cost uh, some income just for existing, so we want to be careful with that. Just please, please remove those rockets. I need them gone. Oh, here. 
Alright, well, time to maneuver all the way down here and claim this free, free real estate. Activating commander ability for bonus build speed. And there we go. All the way to the ground, please. Thank you. Now have access to all of the additional goodies. Not being on fire! Why is everything always on fire? Okay, so now we have... Ooh, ooh I took a pretty big hit here. This is fine. Put these guys back. Okay, yep. Figured out what's shooting at us. Um, it's a cannon. It's a few cannons, actually. And that is also a sniper. That's not a regular sniper. That's... What is that? What are they? What are you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is gonna get pretty rough here, guys. We need these lasers online, and we need these... A sniper going immediately. Alright. Do this. Put these guys back. You are desperately needed. Oh my got a lot of a lot of pain and suffering heading my direction very very quickly this activate commander ability bonus build speed is required right now all right sniper is available time's up let's do this you with the cannons get nuked now time to hit it with a gemini that's so many nukes six nukes oh and only a few of them hit but look how much damage it did that is one very exposed cannon. Come on, get the shot. Come on, get the shot. Oh no. Come on, ninjas, take the oh, go. Blow up my ninjas. Almost all of them, anyways. Ninjas now a dying, dying breed. Okay, need to go back. Go there. There we go. I need another Gemini laser if I'm going to keep up this fire rate. All right, time to get some more nukes. I need you over here, and over here. Go. Nope. nope. Nope, shut that down real quick. Oh dear. That's a cannon. It's still hitting me, and it still hurts. Ooh, he's making it through my, making through my armor once more. Oh, he's trying to take out my energy production. If he takes out my energy production, I'm in a bad way. These Gemini lasers have such a such a heavy upkeep. All right, it's time to nuke once more. And ready for the Gemini. Go. Six nukes. Bring it on. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Give me, give me. So much income now. It's like I've been, it's like all of my power has been unlocked. Finally fueling the economy. All I needed was one less teammate in the world. Alright, it's down to one on one. Can the enemy survive this next onslaught? That's the real question. So the Gemini laser is still on cooldown. He's trying to do things. He's a. Uh, He's having some hot. No! No, 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 no. Stop it, 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 stop it. Stop it with the shooting me. You're getting rid of my goods. My people. Stop it. Alright. just did good work. Only a little bit of manual control. Let's go ahead and put down another one of these guys right here. Just in case. Just in case we need him. It's looking good. Time to bring the nukes. Let's get the. Uh oh. Uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna split that one. Uh, we lost some of our energy production. Uh, notably because I built another one of these guys. Uh, probably should have thought about that. Let's go ahead and increase this production a little bit. Let's get that going. Come on, ninjas, cover! Uh, one made it through, this is fine. It's only one. Things are fine. Things are okay. Let's just keep building. To keep building and everything will everything will turn out fine. We have the economy, we have the power, we have the nuclear fission capabilities. And I think it's almost time we just need 9,000 energy. And we'll be able to fire our full volley once more. Are you guys ready for what's likely to be the last nuclear launch? The one nuclear launch to end them all? Uh oh 
This is fine. Things are fine. It's only a giant hole in my base. And now, six nukes. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, we have more of these modded shenanigans coming up pretty soon here on the channel, and we can check it out live every Saturday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That way you guys can have a, a friendly time zone for whatever continent you're in. So for now, I'll see you guys later.